Hello, hello, and a wonderful afternoon to you. I hope that you're having a great and glorious on passive day. You know, uh, we've come a long way since uh, we first started back in 2018, on, on passive that is. Um, but you know, we had a, a, a very, very robust history of advancements and revolutions and that sort of thing. So today we're going to uh, do the first part of what I hope will be a three-part series and we're going to go through the industrial ages, bringing us up to how we got where we are. Uh, the next one, I think, is going to go into uh, uh, AI and IoT. And then after that, we're going to talk about how on passive really is uh, the future, um, as seen by what is already happening. So we'll get started with it anyway. <clears throat> Industry 4.0, right? That's another name for the industrial revolution we're in right now, the fourth industrial revolution. It's the integration of intelligent digital technologies into manufacturing and into the uh, uh, industrial processes. Uh, it includes or encompasses a set of technologies that include uh, uh, IoT networks for industry, which is IIoT. We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, AI, big data, robotics, automation, all the stuff we've heard and the buzzwords, right? All these things allow for smart manufacturing and the creation of intelligent, quote unquote, factories. Its purpose is to give us more or enhance our productivity, our efficiencies, and our flexibilities, that's important, while giving us uh, the opportunities for more intelligent decision making and customization, which is a key word here as we move forward um, into the next revolution, right, in manufacturing and supply chain operations. And the use of all these things together, which we'll talk more about, uh, have bound us uh, not only digitally and technologically, but they have bound us into a revolution, a new age of uh, transformation, if you will, even as we speak. In that, the age that we're in now, the 4.0, is already morphing into something else. But before we get into that, let's look at how we got where we are today, right? Because since the 1800s, we've experienced uh, <clears throat> three other industrial revolutions. Now, they're called revolutions because... The innovation that drove them wasn't just, you know, slightly improving stuff, right? Uh, in, improving productivity and efficiencies. It completely revolutionized how goods were produced and how work was being done, right? Now we're in the fourth industrial revolution, otherwise known as Industry 4.0. Now the first revolution, uh, that was a transition from manual labor to the steam engine where we had a... Uh, uh, a very, very real mechanical advantage, uh, and that was used uh, to offset or to lessen uh, human labor, animal labor, that sort of thing. And by the early 1800s, the first revolution was thoroughly underway. The invention of the steam engine reduced our uh, reliance on uh, physical, you know, human and, and, and animal labor and it ushered in a new age of manufacturing and even precision engineering. Now, I know a lot of us don't think of precision engineering in the 1800s, but believe it or not, for the time, it was. Now, the second industrial revolution uh, was caused by us bringing uh, electricity into industries. That's what marks it, the beginning of it at least. And these electrical motors uh, replaced the steam engine and there was little or no manual labor involved in this transition. Uh, it brought to us the ability for mass production and assembly lines were also introduced in this period and the growing use of oils and petroleum right, and electric power meant that uh, machinery could be smaller and more powerful and this gave rise to a lot of the uh, mass production processes that we saw. Now, the third industrial revolution, oh yeah, now we're getting to the good stuff, right? This came in with computers, electronics, and factories, and industries, right? And made it all possible to program machines, which gave way to automation. Automation is also key. I know with OnPassive, we talk a lot about automation, right? That really kind of started in the 1950s and 1960s when the computers 
really came full-fledged onto the scene. Uh, you probably remember the big I, IBM uh, computers that were, you know, filled complete big rooms and that sort of thing. Uh, we also saw the early development of factory automation, uh, the beginnings of robotics, and the first computerized business systems to manage and analyze data. So we were, we were in the full swing and heading toward technology and getting away from the physical aspects of machinery and stuff. Now, enter the fourth industrial revolution, right? Now the term uh, industry 4.0 refers to a, a manufacturing concept. Uh, it was developed by a German uh, industrial engineers and it's considered to be an extension of digitalization and the initiative was introduced in Europe to promote uh, technological revolution in factories where um, they, they believed that doing this uh, would uh, would do for manufacturing what the computerization uh, did for offices and the factories floor, you know, 20 years ago. Uh, make them faster, uh, more efficient, um, more efficient uh, or more responsive uh, to customers' needs, that sort of thing. Now today, manufacturing is increasingly powered by information. Vast amounts of data, we've heard about that, especially in OnPassage, simply because OnPassage is a AI IT company and it's a giant, right? And this vast amount of data that we're talking about comes from around the world, around the clock, and it gets to us in real time. Very, very fast and lots and lots of it. Now, AI is at the heart of this fourth industrial revolution and uh, it allows manufacturers not only gather that data but to use it to analyze uh, for prediction for understanding and reporting industry 4.0 what we're in right now is characterized by or defined by maybe i can put it that way the seamless integration of a number of systems tools and innovations now it encompasses all advanced manufacturing technologies, including industrial Internet of Things, which is different from the regular IoT, um, such as robotics, predictive maintenance, smart wearable technology, computer vision. I mean, lots, lots of good stuff we'll get into in the next uh, in the next video. But the whole point for uh, 4.0 is to fundamentally change the the way that manufacturing plants in particular operate. So simply stated, Industry 4.0 is a trend towards automation and data exchange in manufacturing. It uses advanced digital technologies to improve uh, processes and allows manufacturers to grow and to streamline their operations. Now, some of the things that we can look forward to is obviously robotics, that's a, that's a branch in uh, engineering focus on designing and building and uh, programming robots for various uh, purposes uh, from uh, the manufacturing floor you know all the way to medical applications and uh, recently you know advances in hardware and software have given us a rise to what we call it's actually a new category in robotics it's called uh, soft uh, manipulators and this is a a uh, component of robotics that can move things very gently very very uh purposefully without damaging in them uh, and they can also replicate human movements with very very good speed and precision so that, that we've seen that open up uh specifically for a good example uh, look at look at medical and surgery and all that sort of stuff uh we've also seen predictive maintenance come through these things which uh uses machine learning on passive, you know, we use machine learning in on passive for the things that we're doing with AI, uh, and machine learning can be used to predict when machines will break down before they break down, right? Which allows you know maintenance engineers for scheduling repairs and replacements, uh, you know, yada yada yada. But that's got all sorts of great uh, indications. Um, the ability to extract information about a, an asset's mechanical health is, is not new, but because of recent advances in what we call data analytics, now that's another thing that we've 
you know, that's another buzzword. It's a phrase within AI, right? And data analytics has made it a lot easier to use predictive maintenance technology. Now, on passive is using data analytics and we use it for predictive technology as well. Um, not yet in the uh, manufacturing, but if you keep in mind what Mr. Mufar has talked about in the past about our innovation labs and about the products coming out of those and physical products that we have going on and things like that, then predictive maintenance is going to be used in that. But right now we're using it for some other things within the AI and automation and chatbot and the, the stuff that's going on. You're also going to see stuff going on with smart wearable devices, right? Uh, wearable devices uh, in the Industry 4.0 uh, can help improve employees' efficiencies and you know, boost morale and stuff like that. Um, anyway, smart glasses, right? Reality smart glasses. We'll see some of those things, and that goes under uh, uh, the the umbrella, if you will, of uh, augmented realities. Uh, smart vests, the same thing. Form-fitting garments, you know, rubberized materials designed to collect data. All those sorts of things are going to be going into that. And there's a growing number of companies that are starting to utilize what we call uh, WES, which is warehouse execution systems um, to streamline processes. Uh, we have additive uh, manufacturing. Uh, simply put, additive manufacturing is a method for making 3D parts, 3D printing, right? We've talked about that and those sorts of things uh, in contrast to conventional methods, which remove material from a solid piece, you know, like taking a, a, a piece of metal and cutting a part out and throwing away the scrap. And that's not as good as uh, additive. Uh, it, it's more efficient. It's better. It's better for the, the planet. You know, computer vision, a branch of artificial intelligence and machine learning that uh, develops methods of technologies to allow computers to analyze visual content in manufacturing. Computer vision has actually made the visual search possible. Some of us use that. I know that I've got a friend and he'll take a picture of a leaf out in his garden to see what the plant is and they'll do a visual search and boom, come right up and tell him exactly what it is. So lots of good stuff going on. Uh, Industry 4.0 is playing a huge role in not only shaping how we operate, but how we do our work. And that power comes from bringing together uh, technologies and industry that has been game changing because it's not just about efficiency, but it's also about, uh, about introducing uh, a brand new era, or era, <clears throat> excuse me, era of innovation. And in the next video, we're going to talk about those technologies that are used in Industry 4.0 by taking a look at the pillars that support everything within the fourth uh, Industrial Revolution. So, so thank you very much. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe. <clears throat> Help me, you know, get this information out. Uh, the next the next video will be out here probably in the next couple of days and then the next one after that. So thank you so much. And regardless of what you're doing or where you're going and how, you, how you're making life happen for you, we wish nothing but blessing and blessing upon you and your entire family. Thank you.